represent the position vector v 5 minus 4 6 or v 5 i minus 4 j plus 6 k in 3D space. So what we're talking about here is now three-dimensional space. So if we look at this geogebra afterlook, we, first of all we need to uh, think how the axes actually work. So the x-axis always goes this way, the uh, y-axis goes into the page, okay, and the z-axis is the vertical axis. Okay, so we're going to have certain uh, components. Now the i component is a unit vector in the x direction, so we're going to go five units in the x direction. A j component is one unit in the y direction. Now the y direction is actually positive, is into the page, so the negative is going out of the page. So actually it's minus four in this case, so we're going to go four units along there. The uh, k component, the k component will be here, okay. That's, so that's going to be six units vertically upwards. If, it's, if it was down, it will be down, down uh, six units. Okay. So the resultant vector, position vector from the origin to there, is represented by the vector v. Of course, there are two ways of writing that: five minus four, six, and five i. No, that plus would not be there. It would be minus four j plus six k. So. A k is a unit vector in the z direction. Okay, so we can move these sliders around a little bit and we can get different kinds of vectors. Okay, that's where y will be positive. Okay, we can make a negative, so there's going to be a quadrants here. Okay, z could be negative, so we're going underneath the axis there, so that's where it can become dotted. Okay, so we've got lots of different uh, sort of things that we can do to get a three-dimensional uh, vector in space. Okay, so we're going back to the original one. So any vector which goes 5 in that direction, 4 minus 4 in that direction, and 6 in that direction can be represented by that. It only hits a position vector if it actually starts at the origin. Again, this applet will be in the um, notes of the video. Feel free to use it. I hope uh, this has been useful for your understanding. Thank you very much for watching.